Hey everyone, it's Craig Vinyl here. Uh, Craig from Australia. Welcome everyone again. Uh, I think it's been probably two or three weeks. I haven't been posting a lot at all lately. Been very busy, but my son plays football. Uh, he just umpired, sorry, he umpires football. He just umpired his last game, so that'll free up a little bit of time. I can come along and do some more videos for you guys. I've done a lot of gardening today. Uh, I haven't even brushed my hair. I'm wearing a UFC shirt. There was a UFC on today. I watched the prelims. It was good stuff. So um, I thought, no, nah, I'm just going to get in and do it. So here we are. And talking about Elvis, so I've got a whole bunch here. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through my Elvis collection as it is. I'm pretty keen at collecting Elvis at the moment. So um, every time I get some, I'll do an update. So let's whip through this. Here we go. First of all, a few of the movie ones. Elvis, Kiss and Cousins. Uh, Pretty much all of the Elvis ones I got are all Australian pressings. So, and this one is remastered. Uh, so I think it's a, a remastered. It's on the RCA. Well, it says uh, made from master recordings of RCA. So, I guess it was originally recorded in the States or so, and then pressed for Australia maybe a year later or so. I'm not sure. Elvis Blue Hawaii. Two of those. One is mono and one is stereo. This is the mono album. And I'll just show this one. Same label as before. If you can see, sorry about the reflection. My wife and I absolutely love this movie. Love it. Oh, behind me, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> Flaming Star, a double again. Um, all you guys have. Especially with Elvis guys, there's a few of you out there, George and Jordan, uh, George and Jordan, George and Jordan, hello guys, Elvis, a girl, happy, uh, same label again, or black label, Elvis GI Blues, Uh, this one I got in one of my work trips in Tasmania, a little island there, part of Australia on the southern tip. Beautiful place. I got that in an um, antique store. G'day, Jordan. I didn't get back to you on this one. Girls, 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 which I picked up recently. Um, nice, sort of, I love these sort of solid, thick covers. Uh, let me have a look at this for you, Jordan. Oh, it's on that fantastic, fantastic RCA Victor label. Absolutely beautiful that. I absolutely love it. Probably my favourite label just to look at. Uh, that's an LPM 2621, Jordan. There you go. What do you think of that one? Okay, Elvis in Hollywood, a selection of his movie tracks. I think Speaker showed that before. Correct me if I'm wrong. Elvis Moody Blue. This one's a really nice cover. Elvis 17 number ones. This is an Australian pressing. It's on J, J and B records. So it's not RCA Camda, RCA Victor. Um, it's been put together by Glenn A. Baker, an Australian music reviewer. Been around a long time. He's put this together. And there's a gatefold here. It's actually got a bit of value, this, this album on Discogs. But nice looking cover. Elvis Love Songs. Elvis. Elvis Presley. And uh, it's got that gay file where you... It was fantastic. Uh, Elvis again, Elvis Presley, from the original soundtrack of his TV special. Let me just have a look at this one. So it's on the Australian pressing RCA dirty light brown looking. I think this, the light there is not too good. Sorry about that. Put that away soon. Elvis, that's the way it is. And uh, once again on that 
sort of label there. Elvis in the 70s, 28 great songs. And it's a double double album. But guys, if you got any comments about, about these, put them in. Yeah, I'm always interested to hear the variations between the Australian pressings and the UK, US. So again, Elvis in the 70s, the orange RCA Victor. Man, nowhere near, nowhere near as good as that one with the, with the dog there on the gramophone. Elvis rocking on 24 all-time rock and great hits. I did get this on CD about 20 years ago. I've got two copies of this now. I'll show one. I don't know. Is this just an Australian release? Uh, tell me, guys. Double album. And then they brought out volume two. It's all, uh, all RCA Victor. Uh, I've got two Elvis Christmas albums. This one here that I tend to see quite a bit uh, at the thrift stores. I have seen. <clears throat> it's a mono. And it's RCA Camden. So for <clears throat> Paul Kane, if you're watching Paul, thanks again for subscribing and commenting every on all my videos. I really appreciate that. Uh, I think it was Paul. Pretty sure it was. Uh, where I learned that the RCA Camden's probably not as well recorded or received compared to Ace RCA Victor. And another one, Elvis Sings Christmas Songs, Elvis's Christmas Album. So, I haven't checked if it's the same track listing. I love this cover. You don't see this one that much. Well, I don't anyway. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Yeah, it's on that RCO label like I was showing you earlier. I should have a closer look on the um, track listings there. But I think I think this one might be a bit more special. February 1970, Elvis on stage. And it's just on that uh, orange RCA label. Double album, Elvis in concert. It's just on the this was a really nice um, shape, this one. Elvis, Madison Square Garden. I think I got this for 20 cents or something silly like that. Australian pressing. Elvis, Aloha from Hawaii. Uh, this would be a BG Plus new mint cover. The spine's pretty much perfect, Nick. And, yep, Australian RCA pressing. This one here, I'm not sure, um, George or Jordan or Speaker and everyone and a lot of other Elvis fans out there, have you seen this one? This is called Elvis All the Best. This is in excellent condition, too. On the back down here, it says, uh, with special thanks to the Elvis Presley Memorial Fan Club of New South Wales. New South Wales is a um, state in Australia um, with a Sydney address there. So It's 4.30. Looks, like, uh, looks like they've put that together. If you can see this or not. And it's a double album. Let's have a look inside. Page there with uh, track listings, the musicians on each track, the year it was rec recorded, and where. Again, RCA Star Call label. If you want to look that one up, I'll just check the other side if there's anything else there of interest. 
put that away later. No, it's just just the same on the other side with another label there. So let me know if um, if you've seen this or not. Elvis Golden Records. I've showed this one before. I got this one for free. I like you a stack of stuff when I first started collecting. And this happened to be in there a bunch of rubbish, really. So I was lucky to get this. There's the label. There you go. So it's quite a bit of weight in this. Whoop. It's all right. Um, definitely not 180 grams, but definitely definitely a lot heavier than the other ones, the standard ones. This is a French pressing, Elvis Presley debut. Uh, a Paris French pressing. Uh, for those of you who want to have a look, uh, what's it's stereo and it's 740.622 is the catalog number. There you go. Unfortunately, the lady I got off has written all my French viewers there, if you can read that. Let's just have a look at the LP. It's on the RCA Victor. So it's kind of cool. I don't, it's definitely not an original pressing. Uh, I don't know if it's got the year on here. Let's see, let's see if I've got a, a date. There you go. 1966 French pressing. So I've only ever come across this particular album once. Um, so to get one even though it's not an original, pretty hard to get an original. And it's French. I'll stoked. Okay, just two more to go. Two box sets. Elvis, The Legend, 1954 to 1961. Um, volume 1, RCA Victor, 12 record set. And recently there's a sale on Discogs for about $150 Australian. So that's cool. It's actually my wife's copy. I'll just hold it up there. There's a box set. Uh, ELR1 is the code. Okay, looking inside, a couple of things. Nice little booklet inside. Sorry about that. That's so kind of uh, it. Just goes uh, chronologically, chronologically of uh, his U.S. singles discography, and then there's um, a section uh, just on each record in the box set. And on the back, there's a lot of these album covers, which is pretty cool. And also, also, I found in here, which I don't know if this belongs in here. I reckon it's been slipped in by mistake. Uh, Jordan or George, if you're watching, do you know where this comes from? It's a little photo booklet. Um, it just says Elvis, a legendary performer, the early years. So if you know where that should be, let me know. So just to show you here, one of the discs that's on the RCA Victor. And they all look the same. Etc. Awesome stuff. I'm sure a lot of you haven't seen that one.
And lastly, yes, it's a very damaged box, I can see. I got it really dirt cheap. Elvis, 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 what more can you say? And it says, uh, Worldwide 50 Gold Aria, sorry, <laughs> Worldwide 50 Gold Award Hits Volume 1. It's got a really lovely photo book in here of Elvis. Which is in top shape. You get the idea. And this is an Australian pressing on the RCA Victor label. It's all mono as well, which is pretty cool for a box set. There you go, guys. My wife has entered the room with some food, so I must get going, and I'll introduce her. And oh, here she is now. So, Hi, hello. vinyl community. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a video soon, won't we? You can pull yeah. out some of your favourite records. Yeah, I want to know what you all think of the new shelving system that I bought this gorgeous yes. man here for his birthday recently. Yeah. <laughs> Huge surprise. He had to put it together himself, though. I took took a few seconds. You know how it is, guys. <laughs> anyway, it's a five five by five uh, IKEA Kallax. Kallax. Yeah. And um, you can see there's a couple of rows down below you can't see, but I'm going to try and fill that up as quickly as I can. That means I'd have to move my books out. Yes. We'll see. I think Vicky and I will do a video soon and um, tell us about your favourite music too. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching that. Um, please comment below. Uh, interested to hear your thoughts on some of those pressings there. And um, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers out.